Welcome back to my channel. My name is Karen. If this is your first time seeing my face, feel free to subscribe. I make fashion, makeup, beauty, skincare videos, and it's fun here. So subscribe. I also have an Instagram at I'm Karen o. I have the link dropped in the description box, so feel free to check it out too. Today, I am so excited to partner with Sephora. I have been obsessed with their skincare selection and it's so exciting because Sephora has a lot of Korean skincare available now. Last year, I did a glass skin makeup tutorial and it was one of my favorite videos. So I thought it's like, it's almost 2020. I feel like it's time to do an updated version of a glass skin. So you guys are curious on how I created this Korean glass skin look? Keep watching. I just removed all my makeup with a little wipe. I'm gonna go ahead and double cleanse and today I'm gonna be starting off with the Glow Recipe Blueberry Bounce Gentle Cleanser. So you get this really nice viscosity, this good jelly texture. I personally like to apply this on dry, but you can for sure apply this on wet. The reason why I like to apply this on dry is because it actually works better as a makeup remover when you apply it on dry. And this jelly-like texture will remove your makeup on your face. So you just kind of like want to take your time and rub it in. Mm, blueberries all over my face. I'm gonna splash some water in my face, get some lather going too with the cleanser, and I'll be right back. I love how my face feels right after a good cleanser. It's not too tight and you know when you like kind of squeeze your face a little bit and it doesn't have that really dry like tightening feeling. The next step I want to share with you guys is the key to having dewy glass skin. The first thing you want to do is apply toner. What toner does is it balances the pH of your skin and it helps your skin absorb the serums, the moisturizers, and all of that a lot easier. So today I'm using the Belief Aqua Balm Hydrating Toner. This will give you that really glowy glass skin look. Typically right after you wash your skin, it's trying to seek out moisture from the air, okay? Now I live in California. We have really, really low humidity levels here. So for me, sometimes I need to do at least two different toner applications. Right after you wash your face, your skin needs a lot of moisture. So the first layer of toner, you're really just kind of balancing it back out to what it was before. If you think about it, it's almost like you're putting on a face mask with toner. You don't have to do it seven times if you don't have time for seven times, but seven times is the key. Layer number two, every single time you kind of want to just let it sit in your skin for about seven seconds. All right, now we're ready for layer number three. I recommend this toner for anyone with normal to dry skin. If you have a little bit more of an oily skin, I recommend using like a rice toner. I really like those too. And I know Belief makes so many different toners for different variations of skin types. I'm starting to already see that glow coming from inside from my skin. We're on to our last and final time. So I've been doing this and I've noticed that the days I don't do it, my skin don't look as dewy and glowy the next day. But when I do this right before I go to sleep, oh my God, like my skin looks like a baby's bottom when I wake up. It's, it actually is really transformational. So the next step I have is applying a hydrating serum. The one I'm using today is from Innisfree. It's their intensive hydrating serum with green tea seed. So green tea seed oil is really good to hydrate skin. It's very nice and jelly-like. Tried and true products. I know a lot of people love this, especially if you have like normal to dry skin. And if you have sensitive skin, Innisfree has a line of really great products too. This lightweight serum uses the benefits of green tea to help give your skin a really glowy complexion. You guys know when you go outside, there's actually a lot of pollutants that can dry out your skin. So this serum is really great because it adds a layer of protection to keep you hydrated all day. The next step is to use a moisturizer. Today I'm using the Belief, the True Cream Moisturizer. This is their Aqua Balm. This is one of my favorite moisturizers. I recommend this to anyone with sensitive skin. If you have 
dry skin this is not oily it won't make you feel like you have grease over your face so it's perfect for that glass skin look too so here's the thing you can never use a serum alone because serums actually draw moisture from the air and if you don't have a moisturizer like this belief cream to seal in all the products and to protect your skin from the natural environment you're actually putting more harm into your skin than you think you are it's not oily you can put makeup over it it's great for sensitive skin it's great for dry skin to normal skin and, and this is just an all-around really really great moisturizer i think calling it an aqua bomb is really appropriate because this cream actually has a more water percentage in it than an oil percentage so you won't be left looking super greasy so when it comes to skincare in the morning before your makeup you really don't need a lot going on i just have three products and with these three products alone i mean just look at my skin it's so glowy it's so dewy and the trick is to go with the seven skin step and these belief and innis free products are they work amazing together your skin will feel super supple love it highly recommend these three products i'm sure you guys heard of this sunblock this is the super goop sunblock and as spf 40 in it and if you've like done so much to your skin and spent so much money gave it so much love it's so important to protect your skin from the uv rays apply this and don't forget your neck okay, moving into makeup I am starting off with the Bare Minerals Complexion Rescue Tinted Hydrating Gel Cream. My complexion is looking bomb right now. I'm just going to fill in my brows and I'll be right back. For that really model-esque bushy brow, you guys hear me talk about it a lot, but I found this really great product from Milk Makeup. This is their Kush Fiber Brow Gel. So I'm in the color Cypher. I love how it kind of coats every single hair and makes it look very sharp and bushy. For my cheeks, I'm using the Bare Minerals You Had Me At. And in order to make it look super dewy, I actually have this trick that I use. Um, I use a face oil. I like to put a little on the back of my hand, like two drops or so. Go into here, quite a bit of product, and then you just kind of want to mix it in there. So you create a new color, okay? We're going for a monochromatic makeup look. Okay, for my cheeks, I'm using this brush right here. Taking this Makeup Forever Artist Pencil in the color Anywhere Caffeine. For an ultra glossy finish, I'm actually going to take the Fenty Beauty Gloss Balm in the color Diamond Milk. Okay, so I'm going to take this in Diamond Balm. It's their Diamond Balm in how many carrots? I'm just going to swipe it on the highest points of my cheeks. I like using a big fluffy brush so it's not too concentrated. It's all over my cheeks too, but in a very subtle way. Next, I'm gonna contour my nose with the Fenty Beauty in the sun. I'm going to powder just a little bit with the Laura Mercier powder and I'm just going to get it into my forehead because my forehead tends to get a little oily. That is the completed look. This is my everyday glowy, dewy glass skin updated look. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Just want to thank Sephora for sponsoring this video again. And make sure you guys go check out their Sephora Korean skincare line because there's so many great brands out there.